If you want to study medicine at a German university, but are wondering how you could do that, how to apply, which qualifications are important to have in order to have a chance of getting an acceptance to study at the German university, then this video is for you. Hi guys, I'm Ibrahim, a med student at the, the University of Munster. I'm now in the sixth semester of human medicine and I'm studying as well experimental medicine. And I want to share with you from my own experience and from thousands of experience that I've come across how to be able to study medicine at a German university. First and foremost, you have to know that there are three main criteria that you have to somehow be good at in order to be able to study medicine here. What are those? The first one uh, are your scores at high school. The second one is German language certificate. And the third one is, uh, is a test that's called the test AS, test for Ausländische Studierende. And I'll tell you in details about each one of those and some extra stuff that you could do in order to higher your chances. So let's get started. Your high school scores, if you're aiming to study at a German university, you need to have more than 95% average in the high school. And here is an important information. Uh, the high school certificates from some countries are not recognized or accredited uh, in Germany. Like for example, most of Arabic countries, uh, I studied, uh, in, I uh, had high school in Saudi Arabia and my certificate was not accredited or recognized or accepted here. And I had to do one year that's called Studienkolleg. It's like a preparatory course or something like that. And I'll tell you about it. And there is another option in order to get uh, recogni recognition to your uh, high school certificate. And that would be to have studied one year in the same field that you want to study in Germany at another university outside of Germany. And that is the thing that I've done. I have studied one year of medicine at a university in Sudan. And then I was able to overcome uh, the not acceptance of my uh, high school certificate. And this preparatory course, for those of you who's, who are wondering how to do it, it's called M course. You can search for it, student colleague M course. I'll write that uh, down here. Uh, and you have to do this. You will have to study a one year. It's like the last year of high school. And over there, you will study German language, math, physics, chemistry, and biology. Those uh, five substances or Sorry for my English. I'm so used to German right now that I've forgotten so many English words or I'm not able to call them or to say them right away. So those five things you'll have to learn in a, on a whole year and you will have to do an exam at the end. And in the end, your total score will be the average of your high school score in your country plus the score that you got at the M course student colleague. Okay, either this or you need to study one year of medicine at a university outside of Germany in order to overcome the refusal to recognize your high school certificate at German universities. And the average or the total score should be over 95% if you want to have a high chance of getting an acceptance to study medicine. This is the first criterion. The second one is German language certificate. You have to have a certificate at the level of C1. In German language, as in English, you have A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. You have to have C1 level certificate. And there are some uh, well-known exams. You will need a certificate of one of those exams. I don't recommend just getting a C1 certificate from a normal language school because that won't give you any chance. You need to do one of the nationally uh, recognized exams and there are three main exams DSH or DSH Deutsche Sprachberufung uh, für Hochschulzugang or Test DAF or TELC C1 Hochschule These three exams are the uh, exams that are d being done the most for students and the one I'd recommend is the DSH or DSH 
if you get over 82% in this exam, you will have a DS Hadgai or DSH uh, 3 ranking. And this is the best certificate that you could have if you want to apply for medicine in Germany. So I'd recommend uh, for you to study this, uh, prepare yourself for this exam and take it. However, this exam can only be done inside of Germany. The other two ones you can do outside of Germany. And if you are planning on doing a German language exam outside of Germany, I'd recommend test DAF. So in either DSH or DSH or test DAF. If you want to get more infos about them, just look them up, write DSH exam and you will have many websites that will tell you about it or the official website of DSH. Uh, I, I believe there is an English version of the website uh, so you could read how to apply for this exam and how to prepare yourself for it. Or I'm going to be making some videos about it. If you're interested, tell me in the comments down below. So this is the second criteria or criterion. And the third one would be an, a test called test AS or test AS. Uh, this is an uh, uh, this is an IQ test similar to the American SAT exam. There is some similarities. This exam or test you can uh, do either in English or in German. Some universities require that uh, it's done in German, but the most of them uh, accepts both accept both, and it's a, around twenty German universities that accept this test. So there are 34 or 35 uh, universities in Germany where you can study medicine. And I believe almost half of them require this test in order to be able to study. And if you get a high score in this test, you will be able to have uh, a, an acceptance to study medicine in a German university. I do co online courses for this test, however, in German and in Arabic, not in English. If you're interested in that, you can uh, write me through Instagram or Facebook and I'll give you more details about it. And you can look it up in the internet, the official website of Test As, in order to see some examples of the questions that are asked in this test. So these are the three criteria. If you get a, a very high score on Test As, you can assure yourself to get an acceptance at some of uh, the German universities that provide medical studies. What can you do? Uh, as extra to get better chance if you if you've done much volunteer work that could play a role at some universities to higher your chances but of course you have to give a proof of that uh, you have to have uh, certificates or something like that showing that you've done volunteer work or if you've done unpaid internships in a hospital so this is called in german pflege practicum this is an internship that's not paid in a hospital as a nurse assistant. So you will do some of the tasks of nurses in, uh, in, in a hospital and that's not paid and you will have to work full time at least one month up to three months. And at some universities, this could play a role in order to have higher chances to be able to study medicine. Now, what are the positive things about studying medicine in Germany. It's almost completely free compared with other uh, countries like the US where you, or uh, Britain, where you have to pay huge amounts of money. And the medicine studies at German universities is, has a very, very high quality. So another question that you might ask is how to apply for studying medicine. Now again, the German universities defer about how th half of them uh, make their applications through a website or institute called Uni Assist. Uni Assist. You can look it up and the website is available in English in order to know how to apply. And the other half uh, make their applications through the website of the university either completely online or you have to send some uh, papers in post or uh, yes, in post, per post, we say in German, to the university in order to apply. And it's free when you apply for the university on the website. But if you do that uh, through UniAssist, you will have to pay some money. So that was it for this video. If you have any questions about the applications for medical studies or other studies at German universities, you can write me down in the comments and I will try my best to apply for them. 
So that was it for this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can write down below in the comments. And I hope that you subscribe to this channel in order to support me to be able to make more videos, especially in English, as I haven't done much video, many videos in English on my channel, but I'm going to be doing some, of, some more of them. So stay tuned and subscribe in order not to miss them. And bleib gesund, meine Lieben, as we say in German, bis bald.